Hello, hi. Hey, hello. Hi. This is you Long time no see. It's me, Ink Voice. I'm a VTuber. Hi. <laughs> so, you know, it's been a while since I did a reaction video, but first of all, I need to remind you something. This is the same people, like people who has been watching my videos. Um, apparently, more than 70%, like 70% is not subscribed. So please, subscribe. I don't have a gun because of nothing. This gun is going straight to you. So please, subscribe okay thank you you're amazing okay <laughs> let's go we have changed the overlay and everything <laughs> so let's go we are going to watch rise of legends review 80 edition by sesnat recommended by rain little shuffling okay okay let's get ready oh shit i was ah ignore that <laughs> Seth here, let me tell you a story. Once oh, upon a time, a younger sorry? me was visiting Latin America. While there, I stumbled I visit upon Latin America. video game. <gasps> I visited the most things too. I paid a total of five US dollars in exchange. Yes. I got Titan Quest, burnt on a blank CD, Russian yes. Half-Life 2, which I finished without understanding a single word, Russian Serious Sam 2, which what? was actually just malware, but also I got this little disc containing not Rise of Nations, but the oh. fantasy steampunk spin-off Rise of Legends, released 2006. Oh, it's a spin-off! 17 years later, which by personal standards is a quick and timely review, Rise of Legends is a game I hold close to my heart. First of all, I don't actually have a disc anymore, so I tore into the oh. copy, installed it, found out it was. In <laughs> Why do I see myself in this? Like when I was uh, doing things uh, for watch, were playing old games. I knew I had the CD. Then apparently it was not there, and I was like, okay, Pavel is my new friend. Entirely in Russian, which uh, I should have guessed from the installer. Looking yes. the way it is, downloaded or the best cuts. copy instead, and that told me to <laughs> insert disc one. So I copied oh. the executable from the Russian copy to the English copy, and finally it launched. More oh. of the story, graft shit together until it works. Speaking of which, oh. the game runs perfectly on Windows 10. Flawless, Windows 10. and I can literally see the pixels for the pre rendered oh. cutscenes. Anyway, setting we're on some planet. Which one? I don't know because video game bootleggers in America typically don't give you a manual so uh, I'm kind of just making yes as I go along an alien ship sure they didn't give you manuals and crash lands onto the planet and uh, that's all the background you get now uh, that's 99 percent of this game is the campaign which is mainly oh. what I'm going to cover so let's start by playing the Vinci who are the Vinci in this world there are no humans only Italians. According Italians? To everyone is Italian. Everything is industrialized and tensions are running high. This game oh. is pasta punk. Ravioli core, if you will. Ravioli core? Is Giacomo, an inventor from the city state of Miana, governed Miana. by his brother Petruzzo. Oh, they're Italians. General Carlini, your army sets out to investigate an alien crash site. That's the armor Italians have back in the day. Doge blasts the mountainside using an alien weapon. Petruzzo oh. calls you to safety, but in doing so, he becomes a pancake. As you watch, Petruzzo marinate in his own Petruzzo! vow to get vengeance on the Doge. The first two missions serve as a hands-on tutorial to get acquainted <gasps> with the core mechanics. You control any number of units, tactics matter, and each of your heroes have unique abilities on preset cooldowns. Winning the game involves conquering a rival cities while holding on to oh. your own, which you have to manually expand by building specific districts. You have two main resources, Timonium and Gold. Timonium, oh. similar to Cobalt, is extracted from the ground by Congolese miners who do it simply for the love of extracting what? rare earth metals to fuel the Italian war machine. Gold is obtained by building merchant districts. Each one allows you to make a single caravan, which will automatically trade with the nearest neutral settlement. The longer you trade, the larger your trade deficit, which you can use to forcibly buy out the entire neutral oh. zone. This is the peaceful option. You pay gold, the price of which goes down depending on how much you've traded already, and in exchange, we get a functional dwelling and all the troops defending it okay this makes sense except in the second campaign where for some reason i could buy out an entire nest of carnivorous salamanders which uh, goes to show doesn't matter how evolved you are you're not immune to the free market there's also industrial <laughs> capitalism takes everyone mutually exclusive prototypes and military districts which are exactly mm -hmm. as they sound they increase your population cap allowing you to take shit over using the 
less peaceful yes. option. This Aww. involves uh, breaking shit until you start taking it over. If you're very <laughs> impatient or there's a tactical advantage from doing so, you can click the number that appears in the center to forcibly storm oh. the dwelling, taking immediate control. This is incredible. That's actually really as you sacrifice an equal number of grunts. But hey, you get to see uh, physics particle effects as everything breaks apart. I mean, it makes it the gameplay quicker. Realistic. When I saw it for the first time, I was thinking, nah. damn, I wonder how crazy video games will be in the future. Little did I know, I had uh, Overwatch 2 paid PvE <laughs> Season 1 to look forward to. Originally, I know, no, no. But no. In Mission 2, you get a considerable upgrade to your vehicle. Get in the Eva, Giacomo, or Carlini. We'll have to Can fight leave. again. After attempting oh. or succeeding a mission, you get taken to the Overland map, and time progresses oh. for one turn. Here, you can choose your next move, spend experience on uh, upgrading heroes, army points on buying oh. units, research points to unlock new units, and economy points on districts for occupied territory. The last part okay, is uh, really interesting, because when you attack territories adjacent to your own, reinforcements will pour in from surrounding territories, depending on the number and type of district. Anyway, oh. moving on, we make an assault on Parada, who are being blockaded by the Doja Skycrusher, a gigantic surface-to-air battery. This is an oh. issue for the faction, since their main export is a paper-thin aircraft based off a Be sketch by Da Vinci. We counter oh. these wicked machinations by... Walk I was thinking of that, that was a bit by the winches. More importantly, we win the support of Lenora, Parada captain, and the person who's gonna crush Giacomo's head between her thighs in the post-game credits. Maybe. Oh, they're a ship! On one condition. What? And when you finally have the doge, make sure he suffers. Oh! I fucking love this cutscene. Each time there's something pre-rendered on screen, it's always hype. Next, we have so a pressing <laughs> issue. Uh, two of them actually. You have to be hype. Scaladio and Lord Rocco. These act as the puppets of a doge, with Scalario what? providing financial support from the western city of Peligno, while Rocco is the key supplier of Timonium. Is this Italian North. gameplay, we everything? The doge's capital of Venucci. We need to sever these sources of support. Honestly, uh, I don't think this affects the campaign, and I don't what? care. I care more about the fact that these guys steal territory every oh! single turn. So, we're gonna make a beeline for Rocco. On the way there, we- Oh, so it's the best way to castle. take them down because they are stealing the territory. In the real world, this word means mercenaries fighting for Italian states. In Rocco oh! Legends, this means unhinged, unwashed, feral Italians. These are tribalistic primitives who eat their pasta <laughs> completely raw. No! Pasta uh! Delicious marrow inside. After that, we enter Monte Laguna, which is under siege by self-driving clockwork. New Tesla update drop, Ooh. and unfortunately, it's misidentifying Italians as Sicilians. We got what? to take down the fabricators, and subsequently, Whatever this is. Next, we go to the same region where Petruzzo was murdered. To pay respect, oh. no, to do a timed mining objective. But mainly, so I can progress time by another turn. Why? Because oh. I've been stacking research points to unlock the Juggernaut. And I've been stacking army points to fill my army with Juggernauts. It's oh. worth explaining at this point that larger units can trample smaller units. And a fucking I mean. tank is uh, significantly larger. I mean, guys things. are dying. My damage is just right-clicking past the enemy. I got a pretty good deal. Anyway, on to Rocco's capital. This is the same place we get Distruzio, who is simultaneously oh. the best and the worst hero in the entire game. Aside from Giacomo, he's the only person with a wide radius heal. And he's also the only hero with a small, oh. negligible chance at throwing the wrong grenade. He's my favorite hero because there's literally nobody else who's managed to make me rage quit and restart a scenario multiple what? times. And yet, I still pick him every time. The mission itself is pretty easy because uh, Destruzio's forces take most of the heat and buy you time to uh, build mm. three juggernauts and pound Rocco's base into oblivion. One puppet down, one more to go. We head south for Corbinile Mines, which have already been yes, captured okay. by Scaladio. Some maps don't have a specific scenario or objective. And Instead, playing like a standard skirmish map in single player. The difference oh, is, I so you have skipped the kill. Juggernauts, which means I right click his base 
and come back to a victory screen. We assault <laughs> Felinio, which has the gimmick of being built on a mountain, forcing us to slowly travel economy on a zeppelin to actually get there. Along the way, we can also... I mean, it's a good idea to have heights. Bataglion, a hero who can one-shot cities. Despite this insane power level, freeing him is completely optional. You see, to finish a mission, you what? need to complete the main objective. Bonus objectives are take it or leave it. You might miss them and not even know what exactly you missed. That's why every time I do a mission, I peek the quest log. If I see oh. any random question marks in the bonus section, I know there's something out there. Two stooges gone. Now, we just have to deal with the doge. Which oh, is doge. Harder than the doge, right? As we took Foligno, Doge took Doge okay. Laguna. I tried retaking it, but his walker is insanely OP, so I reloaded and took Salea Forest instead. Doge pulls <laughs> again and takes Corbinile Mines, but this time I learned how to properly micro my troops. Oh. Also, I had free juggernauts. This may have helped. We push on to Dursey, which is a timed prison break scenario. Also, my recording software broke for like 20 minutes. I mean, they have mission, that's like good. Have that some of the Doge's own magistrates are being held here. I must have disagreed with his latest policy. <laughs> Basically, we have to rescue a bunch of magistrates he's imprisoned to loosen his political grip on Venucci. And we oh! have to do the reinforcements show up and murder us. Afterwards, we take Rancone. I mean, it's a good mission. Yeah. By bridge. The Doge attempts to block our advance by sending a truck of peace, which we counter with a tank of love and tolerance. Finally, we invade Venucci. Love and tolerance. Leviathan, capture his Doge cannon and point it directly at his troops. But the Doge oh! is nowhere to Fuck. be found. The Doge. Where is he? Where's his army? A child could have won this battle. Carlini gives you the dire news. These look like tracks from the Doge's hammer. Yep, he ran away. But we captured it. When did... He built more than one. We captured a decoy. The real one is headed east. He drew us out, Giacomo. We've been tricked. The Fuck. real Doge cannon is heading east towards Miana. And that's the end of the first campaign. Let's start the second. Spoiler, we uh, didn't make it on time. Miana has been deleted from existence. Inexplicably, after committing Italian Nagasaki, the Doge's army marches east through the desert kingdoms of the Aline, and we set out in hot pursuit. Speaking of hot, uh, we're not built for this environment. We need shots, oh. we need it fast. So we decide to take the help of a mystic who is definitely not going to betray us. Even the noblest of people can be corrupted by power, Giacomo. Five minutes later, the mystic betrays oh. us. Luckily, we're saved by Ari, Giacomo's childhood friend, and taken to the court of Azar Harif, where we get... Oh, no, we're Nice ass. Know your way around. I visited here a long time ago. Visited? Try ran away. It took us four months to find him, and we could barely drag him home. Giacomo! I liked it here. I bet you did. Lenora's not happy about the oh! desert, but even oh. less happy about Ari. And she leaves, despite the fact that I only have eyes for her. I already know Ari's only desire what for What the fuck? Is to birth a child that's slightly higher up on the Aline caste system. I have no interest in her wicked plans. What? Let's get some things out of the way. Who are the Aline? They're dark, swarthy, Arabic, desert-dwelling wizards with cities that float in the sky. They summon Ooh, that's a good idea. from circles of sand, fire, and glass. As there are no humans in this world, we Among must consider us. the next logical alternative. The Aline are Sicilians, and they're currently having a problem oh. with a dark Aline. Basically, more alien debris crash-landed deep into the desert. Mine broke oh. by Genie Sawu, who created creatures of dark glass to overrun Mezakesh, the greatest Aline city ever built, which has ever since been so buried this world was made of, of sand. Mike but and then the aliens came. Through, Promising to improve the situation, the Dark Aline have awoken in full force. Our only hope to stop whatever the Doge is planning is to find Mezakesh. Your Highness, please, we must You're listen to attack. What? Dark Aline in the city! But before that, we have a city to defend. This mission oh. serves as the Aline tutorial, and it does a pretty good job of it. What's never mentioned, however, is that Giacomo's walker 
has been upgraded. His Eva unit oh. is now equipped with a sunscreen. This is <laughs> critical to the plot. Also, yeah, it's, it's critical to the plot. Mechanic. It's Every really important. You kill any one of the three genies on the map, several turns later, they'll respawn randomly anywhere inside their territory. That is a problem because there's three of them and one of you. So the only valid tactic is to rush the bottom of the map as oh. fast as possible and cut them off, funneling them into a choke where their numbers won't matter. Failure to do so results in your map looking like this. Oh. We take the southern dunes where we get assaulted every night by waves of salamanders, which stop during the day, where you have a chance to attack their lairs and kill the BBW queen salamanders. Oh no! Them. Then we murder the same genie that tricked us at the start and push on to the nest of dragons. Our objective here is to free a bunch of dragons before they're corrupted. However, the first dragon you free is so powerful, he can free the rest on his own. Mission design in this game is either win by a hair's length or <laughs> win by starting the mission. There is no in between. I had to pivot north because I was getting oh. my shit pushed in and the next mission was definitely more of a former. You have to oh. and defend a single oasis for 18 minutes. While controlling 18 minutes. Two players. You're joking. Giacomo from the south and Politori, a former Doge chemical warfare specialist from the north. The oasis has so little health that if anything so much as sneezes on it, it's gone. The last minute features a what? dragon that can one-shot the thing, and generally, it's complete and utter chaos. I push on to a generic skirmish map. A genie respawns right in front of us, who we proceed to murder in a oh, okay. skirmish. Then we take the bright lands, which turns out to be a completely useless red herring. Before I have to fight another skirmish to push back another genie. <laughs> I push. I mean, to the they're floor, quite annoying. Which instead, says Kalahi's Desert in the loading screen. I feel drunk because I realize half the maps in this game. Don't don't even match the name of the mission. I load in, and oh. to my horror, it's another generic skirmish. Luckily, the one after that is a real mission, and also our main oh. objective. We need to subdue and capture the Sand Warden de Claw, who's currently going ape shit. To do this, we're going to beat the shit out of him. Unfortunately, the uh -huh. Dark have the same idea, and it's a risk. That's the best the tactic ever, There's right? To be honest, violence. beat the shit out of him. The stronger backhand will prevail. We're gonna show de Claw the meaning of love. In an Eastern European household, the clock <laughs> provides us with one of the keys to Mezakesh. Now we just need the key of fire to the north. We proceed with the best mission of the entire game. Jacques what? smokes that gas station weed, which inevitably has been laced with PCP. Petruzzo, where are you? I'm lost. This entire mission what? is just Giacomo tweaking out from the effects of a dark loud. The salamander is such a curious creature. I must find more of them. You must escort him and keep him safe as he battles tactile hallucinations and metabolizes the corrupted chronic. I... I've recovered from my madness. We then free Andrew, yeah, yeah. the last magic user, and subsequently rescue the Fire Warden Dominur. With both keys, we get access to Mezakesh. And then I rage quit the game anywhere from 20 to 30 times. Reasons what? include Glass Golem boss fight that one shots your heroes, Glass Golem boss fight that goes through damage immunity, Glass Spider boss fight that stuns your entire army, for which I had to learn the specific spawn conditions so I could bait the screen wide stun and sacrifice only half of my army instead. And of course, every what? time Fruzio fumbles a grenade, which is often. However, we persevere and defeat Sawu, who joins us after being freed from the alien sissy hypno. If oh. only it were that simple. My dear Giacomo, how have you? <laughs> I brought a toy for you to play with. Enjoy. Luckily, they were my cry three. brought reinforcements. Together, while dodging payloads of insta-kill shells from across the map, you charge Vidoja's army and destroy his cannon. In exchange, you get this sick-ass cutscene where Giacomo wins by repairing a clock and pulling copper wire. What? Possibly we achieve victory, an alien ship appears overhead to repo the Doge's alien weapon. And that's the start of the third campaign. We what? follow the ship to the jungle, and there we find a couple of jungle dwellers who have been forcibly boosted by a couple tech levels. The Kawasal represents what? the hybridization between the biology of the natives and the advanced technology of the aliens. If we take their appearance mm. into account and the time period this game was released, the natives are basically... Jaffa warriors from Stargate SG-1. What? That is not an answer, Tilk. Come on, they even have staff weapons. Just like evidence of Fermite found at Ground Zero. This is oh. probably just a coincidence. Anyway, we do the first mission and a cutscene plays, where Giacomo and 
Carlini defeat the Moon God, one of the four alien generals masquerading oh, as theological. We have to defeat the alien generals. Another god shows up, and Carlini starts a monologue. So I immediately knew he was about to die. I've been a soldier for 43 years. Yeah, he's dying. I've had my leg blown off. No. Two wars. I've killed more men than I can count. I've never he's dead. From anything in my life. I'm sure as hell not gonna start today. I mean, the dub is really good. Hasta la vista, baby. Carlini and takes the alien device stolen by the Doge. Wait a minute, wasn't that device taken by the alien ship in the last cutscene? Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry for no. the confusion. I had to watch this multiple times to figure out that Giacomo shot down that aircraft off screen. Also, Giacomo took a full hit of the alien device juice. He can now convert base oh. metals into AliExpress quartz crystals. Using what? this newfound power, he spliced his mech into the dead body of the moon god. We'll march out at sunrise. Our you can't stand this up! Getting justice for my homeboy Carlini by killing What the fuck is gods. going on? So, we do exactly that. We murder Zill, the sun god to the south. We murder Shock, the storm goddess to the north. There are unique missions here and there but for the I sake mean, of time I'm fuck? skipping over them except the uh, cargo escort mission which is completely rigged and designed to give you an aneurysm the colossal are <laughs> quite fun to play mainly because of their completely like many uh, escort missions faction. they don't use gold because they don't trade this is replaced instead by energy which is produced by nuclear reactors they can turbocharge oh. any dwelling to print units faster and uh, their basic barracks is actually a flying troop carrier but nothing what? compares to my favorite unit the Dick Flattening Sphere, which has the <laughs> sphere. in the entire game, deleting entire screens worth of troops just by moving over them. Finally, the world that the, 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 the deletes of Rise of Legends, stopping well, the in in. If he isn't stopped within 60 minutes, he will activate the alien Skype call and destroy life as we know it. But his position oh. is fortified by three barriers, which have to be destroyed on both sides. All uh, okay. heroes and upgrades you've acquired during the previous campaigns will be there to support you for this final assault with a Vinci on the left and the Aline on the right you have to simultaneously control both armies and push past their defenses which may include mechanized gorillas until the barrier shut down at which point Giacomo's colossal forces break through the center completing the mission rewards you with this cutscene Giacomo oh. realizing the Skype call has already connected jumps forward with a two dollar microphone and screams racial slurs what? the intensity of which explodes the relay at first I thought where's Giacomo obviously oh. he survived Right? The cutscene was over, but I finally registered that he's dead. It's a very somber ending, and I don't like to grieve for too long. So I rewrote the end. Oh, okay, the new new. Head cannon. Yes, Giacomo did sacrifice himself, but plot twist. Same day we defeated the Doge, conveniently. Lenora was ovulating. This could only mean one thing. Rise of Legends 2 would be a real-time strategy where oh. you would both conquer the battlefield and morning sickness campaigns become what? increasingly more difficult as you swell and become increasingly more pregnant available now on xbox <laughs> <Game> <laughs> <Pass>. <laughs> In summary, rise of legends gets a floating rubik's cube out of however many men are currently inside it's great oh I it. I enjoyed it just as much That's as a good idea. an entire decade ago why did i cover this Let's see their memories and i don't want them lost to the sands of time Unfortunately, the is microsoft and uh we've already made contact they don't give a shit it's not distributed are you kidding this is microsoft fuck or sold anywhere making this game effectively abandonware now uh, <laughs> translation you can pirate it through i mean i will to a download page for this game it's not even in the next game it's almost game pass on the steam possibly moderate my entire comment section yeah so if Hypothetically, somebody showed up and linked the entire game, and a bunch of people just upvoted it to the top comment. Then yeah. what could I possibly do to stop this? So please, don't do that, because it's yes, do it. piracy of an abandoned IP that's not making any money for the parent company. There's a DMCA lawyer out there who gets an oh, kidney stone that he has to shoot out of his burning urethra. As always, more content. Yeah, it was a yeah, okay, I'm not going to pirate it, okay? It's a yeah, okay. I don't want, I want lawyers. Generously funding and bankrolling.
these neutral settlement acquisitions. This episode is brought to you by Pastaficio Sentoni. This is oh not a joke. You are not dissociating. The original reason. <laughs> Wait, what? An Italian pasta sponsor. Pasta for a click. The shit in the world that an Italian B2B <laughs> pasta manufacturer decided one day that contacting me was the best use of their resources. Keep your yeah. Money. The joke has paid for itself. You're all I mean... wonderful. Have a good one. <laughs> I mean, it's about it's about it's about fucking Italians fighting each other. Uh, of course, it's going to be fine. What the fuck? Okay, okay, guys. Thank you so much. Um, why you know? Click a like, subscribe. Um, this week I am not going to have many streams. Uh, that's why I'm recording this. And but I'm going to have many videos. Uh, take care. And please don't murder me and in the comments because I have been taking quite long, okay? Take care everyone. Uh see you next video or next stream and whatever. I love you. Fucking rock. You fucking rock, okay? Take care. Bye.